So welcome to the top 20 Man McCowan's musicals. So the rules are um, super cut songs like FNAF, Sonic, Musical and Phoenix Wright. I can only use up to two musicals from them. If I choose Resident Enos, then of course I can only choose one. And, well, I could choose one of the songs. And of course, Blunt Ears and that do not, and um, Ground Zero do not count. Number 20. So, I was really happy when I got the teaser for this, and it is the reason why I joined the random accounts, Mino. Um, I love AJ putting on um, the um, Pikachu onesie again, but this time using a lot deeper voice, like the game's Detective Pikachu, so that was really funny. Plus, they added Team Rocket back from Team Full of Harmony, and added Oak asking his usual questions like, are you a boy or a girl? Number 19. So this was not my favorite from the Phoenix Wright Supercourt or whatever, it, but it's still really good. Um, This is probably why I enjoyed this a bit, but yeah, I mean, you know, Edgeworth having a really good solo song was very special, and I actually enjoyed it, which I didn't think I would. And it's really catchy. Come on, you've got to admit it. Number 18. This song feels like it's less of a random counters musical song, whatever, and actually feels like it would come from a really dark musical. And that's what I really liked about this. You've got Shadow for the first time. And, you know, since this is from the the Sonic the Hedgehog musical trailer thing, I was very surprised. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Number 17. I mean, this musical, it, it's so dark. Like, the darkest musical random accounts I've ever done. Wait. Are we sure this is not from the DC universe? No? Oh, forget it. Right, so yeah. This is just a really dark song, and that's what I love about this. Blunt, it's a shame that Sparrow Rain isn't coming back, but still, I absolutely love it. Number 16. I mean... In this musical, Peter's voice is so memorable, and this is probably what most people would say his most fame, you know, the most famous musical he's done would be. Um, I absolutely love the cast, and um, they did a really good job. And I mean, what's better than having Peter do a very good accent, um, as if he's an Arstotskan? Glory to a Stotska! Number 15. So we have a checklist here um, just to rate this musical. So, is it cringy? Check. Is it catchy? Check. Is it very good but unneeded? Check, check, check! Number 14. So, basically, I found this... Um, pretty good, actually. Um, it doesn't really feel like a, too much of a Christmas song to be, you know, for my accountants, but it still shows Overwatch quite a bit, and I really, really did enjoy this one. That unlucky number. So, basically, I, this was... I found this early, if you don't know. I found this one pretty early. Quite a lot of us did, actually. Um, this was, like, out a little on like Apple Music and all that for some reason before well just after If I Was an Inkling came out um, it is it's really funny because Link is always unlucky um, but that's what that's how the Navi works um, whatever I can't remember um, it's really funny I think it's really funny and Katie did an amazing job as um, the character she played number 12 so the second Pokemon song on this list is Team Full of Harmony. 
Um, this was really funny. I liked the idea of that instead of doing the Pokemon Go one they did be- the year before, this one had lots of, um, you know, it had the three teams and then one person there uh, just trying to bring them together, which was a really, really good idea. I think it really paid off and everyone did their own part greatly. And I'm thankful Mystic got the idea better than anyone else. Number 11. I mean, Nate is just perfect. It's really good. Well, great, actually. It's very, very catchy and still shows the horror vibe that the game has. Um, I really do think Nate was um, just still amazing with the app contacts and... All that he, she well he looked a lot like a granny and definitely don't want to be near her, and I definitely still felt the horror vibe throughout the whole entire song. Number ten. It was a beautiful day back then. Oh, we were singing. The fun, the fan base, they were blooming, and on days like those, kids like me. Enjoying this song a bunch. <laughs> but joking aside, this song was absolutely great. I still don't feel the Christmas vibes it's supposed to give, but it still showed to be an amazing musical. I can't, and I just love doing a deep voice for Sans. I mean, Sans is my favorite character from Undertale, so yeah. Number nine. This one is an amazing musical, in my opinion. I like the battle between Nate and Mark. Well, it's not much of a battle, but I love how Nate also re like he never he always says the same thing. No one's there, but Mark always changes, which I really do enjoy that little hint. And it is a very w- good one. Probably might do a cover of it as well. Number eight. So for this spot, we have Don't Play This Game from the Thing That's Right musical. So this is, I can't use any more, any of these. I absolutely love Sparrow Rain's voice in this. It really does give you like this, like evil style vibe when she's not supposed to portray, she's portrayed as a bad guy, but she's just like any other person, to be honest, in my opinion, except she just loves whips. <laughs> Um, this is definitely my favourite song from the musical, and always will be, to be honest. Number seven. So I bet you were expecting this one to be on the list. Baldi's Basics is just amazing. Of course, it's Arvi's most popular video to date. I've done a re-reaction to it, of course, this week, and it just reminded me of how much I love maths. Not really, I don't really love maths as much. But it just reminded me how good No Running in the Halls is. And, I mean, I can't stop loving this musical, to be honest. Number six. So, of course, if you don't know, this is basically my most popular video by Fats reacting to a random character song to on my channel, funny enough. So... Of course, I absolutely love Delta and I've been playing on my Switch recently and everything. And this was amazing. And I really did enjoy it. Plus, I enjoyed this a lot more because this song was the reason I got into my first reaction mashup by Linko 2. So I was very, very happy with it. And, you know, this will always stay near to my heart because, ho ho ho, he he he, I'm the bad guy, that is me. Now we come to our honourable mentions. So first honourable mention is Singer Chew. You know me, probably by now, I love so much cringe. So this is why it's part of the honourable mentions. I just didn't think it would fit in, to be honest, in my top 20. Then there's Kindergarten. Now, I didn't, I wasn't around when the teaser came out, but... 
I watched the teaser and then I watched this and I was surprised that AJ did literally everyone, including Miss Applegate, which was very surprising. All he needed was just some balloons and yeah. Then there's Redder than Enos. Well, let me let me just read you uh, what I put. Let's see. Chapter 54, page 105. Create a hell and to don't keep your victim. Oh, no, wait, wrong book. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, this is a really good song. Absolutely love Dodger and Mark in this. And I love AJ's Enos. He's really funny. Now, to be honest, I don't really count this as a Baldi's Basics 2. I just count it as its own musical separate. To be honest, I was on a train when this came out, and I just didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought I would at first. It just wasn't as catchy as the first, but by the sounds of things, there is going to be a third one, and I'm hoping it's going to be much better, but it still is on here. Last honourable mention we have is Hello Neighbour. Hello Neighbour... He's a really, really good musical, and I just enjoyed this a bit. I, as I said, I don't. I would count this more as number twenty one, but it was still really good. Um, I just really enjoyed this. Um, sadly, of course, they can't do another Hello Neighbor musical because Peter won't be coming back. So, but I enjoyed this one, and I loved the ending. <sighs> right, let me just take a breather for a second, and. Let's just say we're going to carry on, I guess, uh, starting with number five. Number five? You could probably guess that this was going to be on the list at some point, as, especially the fans of, real good fans of Random Encounters. This, just wow. I didn't feel like watching this because I just didn't, at first, because of I did, I just didn't know Fanbo. But when I was, this someone recommended this to me, I was so surprised of how good this was. It's probably the darkest song Random Encounters have ever made, even darker than Fake Hedgehog. Um, although that could change later on this month with Sally Face the Musical. Number four, my absolute favorite Undertale song. This is just amazing. Again, Peter is in this, and he was so good and definitely memorable to me, um, the whole musical. It's a shame that um, Sparrow Rain's Frisk didn't really play much of a part, but then again, isn't Frisk like just this human who hardly speaks, to be honest? <laughs> um, I definitely, I, like, when I first listened to this, I was filled with determination, and ever since, to be honest, I always have been. Because I stay determined to the end. Number three. My absolute favourite FNAF night. This, this, just wow. Um, just... Wow, I, I can't even speak because of how amazing this is. Mark's own solo, for the, the only solo song out of the FNAF Musical Night series, well, the Supercuts parts. And I just love Mark's voice. It's fantastic and low, and, a, and it's very good for covers, to be honest. That's what really gets me. It's amazing for covers, and... You know, maybe one, and I have done an a cappella, but maybe a proper cover one day when I have the better equipment would probably be done, to be honest. Coming in at second place, this song is very special to me, if you don't know, and you should go back and watch my Just Monica re-reaction because of that. This song is just really special to me because... It's one song that got me back into Random Encounters, and I'm not joking. Basically, years ago, I just, I, like, back in 2013, I enjoyed Random Encounters. But then when it got to, like, 2015, around just, Mon um, Senpai noticed me, I just left because I just didn't enjoy the musicals anymore. But this is 
definitely deserve this spot. Um, love Aria being Monica because of the fact that she did Monica in Doki Doki Forever. And I just loved the teaser when I saw it after I'd watched the musical. Also, hashtag we want you, Nate. And of course, number one. Cuphead gets the number one spot. Man, this was a great, 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 awesome musical, because why not? It was just fantastic. Am I right, lads, or am I right, lads? Um, it's got so many characters, and okay, the animation isn't the best, but it's still amazing to what Ari can do. It's got so many actors as well. Well, not actors, but voice actors, and that's what I love. I love um, Nate wants to battle being King Dice, and then Devil being Mark, which kind of, in my opinion, references FNAF. A lot the FNAF series, um. I mean, you know, you got Jack Septica in this. He did um, the Ket um Grandpa Kettle, and also there was kind of like a reference to just Monica, if you will. But I'm not gonna go. Which kind of was um Adriana did. I can't remember. Can't remember the name, but yeah, the one. Yeah, one of the characters. Um, but, yeah. You know, Cuphead's at number one, which isn't that surprising to some, but isn't su it's pretty surprising to others. So, yeah, guys, that was it. Um, I had really a lot of fun making this, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. I upload lots of content, including Random Encounters videos. And, yeah. Um, if you have any like songs that you think should have been on this list, please leave them in the comments below. Maybe even put your top 10. Your top 10 in the comments below. Top 20. I don't really care. I'll read them all and probably like them all if I really think they're good. Well, of course. And, yeah. Um, you could even make them into your own videos as well. I'm very happy with all of this week. Um, with all this hashtag we reaction. And I'm really happy that you guys could join in with me. Bye, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.